for weeks. NASA remained almost unervingly silent while amateur astronomers around the world continued to capture images of 3 eye atlas that refused to align with any logical pattern, natural behavior, or prediction offered by classical comet models. And when major institutions stop speaking while the sky continues to provide new evidence, that silence begins to feel intentional. It becomes a message in itself. Then, without warning, without buildup, and without explanation, NASA finally broke that silence, not through a press conference or a carefully crafted public statement, but by quietly releasing a small set of declassified image samples, frames that were not expected yet, frames that were never meant to look like this, frames that now validate what observers in Spain, Thailand, Norway, and even Virginia have been documenting with increasing confusion, a core that refuses to distort, a surrounding halo expanding faster than theoretical limits allow, a tail that curves as though the object itself is rotating, and a brightness profile that is too symmetrical, too consistent, too controlled for something supposedly composed of fragile ice and dust. Tonight, we're going to open this up, not through speculation, but by examining the raw data embedded in these images, the repeating patterns spanning multiple continents, and the quiet implications hidden within NASA's unexpected release. Because if these images are authentic, and all indications say they are, then 3 i Atlas isn't merely entering the solar system. It appears to be revealing itself, one impossible photograph at a time. And by the end of this, you may start to question whether the object we've been calling a comet is something far more deliberate. The first image that began to fracture the official narrative came from Extremadura, Spain. It was a long exposure luminance capture taken on November 22nd, under conditions that should have blurred or degraded nearly every visible detail. Instead of distortion, the result was precision. The background stars stretched into long diagonal trails, clearly marking the passage of time during the exposure. Yet within that motion, the core of Free Eye Atlas remained sharp, stable, and perfectly centered. That alone defies expectations because an object undergoing internal stress or fragmentation should display uneven brightness, asymmetry, or multiple intensity peaks. Atlas showed none of that. Its central region emitted a uniform glow, clean and balanced, almost resembling a manufactured light source rather than chaotic reflections from dust and ice. Even more unsettling was a forward-facing glow, a subtle but noticeable brightening near the leading edge of the object sharper than anything seen in earlier images. Forward emissions should not intensify on their own unless new material is being actively expelled or unless rotation has brought a new structural feature into view. But this image suggested something different altogether. Stability at the center paired with change at the edges. A combination that feels almost biologically unnatural in cometary behavior. When observers in Thailand managed to capture their own frame despite cloud cover and poor visibility, the mystery deepened further. The central glow was not roughly circular or approximately symmetric. It was perfectly circular when enhanced, as though traced with precision rather than shaped by random sublimation. Surrounding this core was a layered halo, with brightness gradients stacked like concentric shells. Natural comas are typically diffuse, uneven, and turbulent, constantly reshaped by solar radiation pressure and rotational stress. The Thailand image, However, suggested segmentation, layers behaving as though material was being released in controlled intervals rather than chaotic bursts. Even more striking was the fact that the brightness gradients recorded in Thailand matched those captured in Spain almost exactly, despite being taken on different nights, with different cameras, filters, and atmospheric conditions, when two distant continents produce nearly identical intensity profiles under completely different constraints. Coincidence becomes an increasingly fragile explanation. What remains is the unsettling conclusion that 3 i Atlas is exhibiting a level of stability no known comet has ever demonstrated. Data from Norway arrived next, and it shifted the conversation immediately. Captured under Bortle 4 skies with barely an hour of exposure, the image revealed a tail far more defined than earlier observations. But clarity wasn't the only anomaly. Shape was a faint curvature appeared along the tail's length, 
a subtle spiral suggesting that the dust and gas were twisting as they streamed outward. This matters because it points toward rotation rather than fragmentation. A rotating nucleus ejects material unevenly as it spins, producing a helical structure that evolves over time. But here's the problem. Atlases. Core shows no evidence of deformation or breakup. A rotating comet under stress should display cracks, brightness fluctuations, or structural irregularities in the nucleus. Atlas displays none of these. The tail behaves dynamically, while the core remains perfectly static. This contradiction strengthens one of the most controversial interpretations yet, that 3 i Atlas may not be a loose pile of ancient debris at all, but a rigid structure, something solid enough to preserve flawless symmetry even while ejecting material in a complex rotational pattern. A wide field image from Virginia added yet another layer to the anomaly. This frame revealed an extraordinarily faint but unmistakably extended tail stretching farther than any previous observation had managed to record. What made it truly unusual was how thin and structured it appeared. Natural comet tails diffuse as they lengthen, losing coherence and becoming noisy and turbulent. This tail did the opposite. It showed alignment, consistency, and a sense of directed flow, as though it were following a defined pathway rather than dispersing randomly. It looked less like debris drifting away and more like ink flowing through water along a control channel. And yet, despite the immense scale of this tail, the core at its center remains unchanged. No sudden brightness spikes, no fragmentation signatures, no evidence of thermal or structural failure. The contrast between the volatile outer features and the pristine, unchanging center is quickly becoming the defining characteristic of 3 i Atlas. Across every image, from Spain to Thailand to Norway to Virginia, one theme stands out above all others. The symmetry of the core is intensifying, not degrading. This is the opposite of what comets do. Symmetry is usually the first thing lost when a comet begins to break apart. The glow deforms, intensity peaks split, and the center becomes chaotic. Here, the reverse is happening. The halo continues to expand and evolve. The forward glow grows stronger. The tail becomes increasingly detailed. And through it all, the core remains a perfect circle. This points to a structure that is not merely stable, but engineered for endurance. A central body capable of resisting forces that should, by all known physics, distort it. With each new image, the stability looks less natural and more intentional. The halo surrounding 3 Atlas is expanding at a rate that exceeds what existing models predicted. If simple sublimation were responsible, the rate of expansion should closely follow solar heating curves and known material properties. Instead, the observed growth is faster than expected, pointing either to an internal energy source or to chemical makeup far more volatile than anything typically found within our solar system. The layered structure seen in the Thailand observations becomes especially suspicious in this context because it suggests an organized, almost rhythmic release of material rather than the chaotic evaporation expected from natural outgassing. The curling tail captured in Norway strongly implies rotation, yet rotation in icy bodies usually leads to stress fractures, particularly as they approach perihelion. The complete absence of such fractures supports the idea that the nucleus is either far denser or significantly stronger than current comet models predict, possibly even monolithic. If Atlas is rotating without breaking apart, its internal cohesion must be far greater than expected. This opens an unsettling possibility. Three, Atlas may not be a loose collection of ice at all, but something solid, something designed to withstand rotation, heat, and intense gravitational forces. Brightness analysis from both Spain and Thailand reveals a tightly constrained energy distribution within the core, with gradients that closely mirror one another. Natural comets almost never produce identical brightness curves when observed from different hemispheres under different conditions. Yet Atlas does exactly that. This level of symmetry suggests that whatever is producing the light, whether reflected or emitted, is uniform across the surface. Such uniformity is rare in natural comets, but it is a defining characteristic of artificial objects. One of the most puzzling features remains the forward-facing glow first seen in Spain and later confirmed in the Thailand images. 
This intensifying glow does not align with standard solar illumination geometry, implying either highly unusual surface reflectivity or a forward-directed jet aimed toward observers. Forward jets are typically associated with structural vents or engineered openings in artificial constructs. The persistence of this glow across multiple nights and continents suggests it is a stable feature, not a random or transient event. The layered shells visible in Thailand's halo are reinforced by later images from other regions. Rather than expanding smoothly, the halo appears to grow in discrete stages, like ripples spreading outward. This behavior is extremely uncommon in natural outgassing and may indicate periodic emission events occurring within the object. These events resemble controlled releases far more than spontaneous sublimation. The unusual structure of the tail, particularly in the Virginia and Norway images, also hints at a repeating signature pattern, something stable enough to encode a rotation rate or specific periodic output. Natural comet tails are highly variable and change rapidly in response to external forces. Atlas's tail, however, evolves slowly and consistently. That consistency implies an internal source operating on stable cycles rather than chaotic environmental influences, with independent observers across multiple countries recording the same anomalies. Scientists are now facing an unusual situation, global consistency. Typically, differences in atmospheric conditions, equipment, and observational methods lead to conflicting data sets. In this case, everyone is seeing the same features the same circular core, the same expanding halo, the same twisting tail, and the same intensifying glow. When observations converge across hemispheres, curiosity gives way to suspicion. For weeks, NASA said nothing. Amateur observers continued uploading images. Theoretical models ignited online debates, and the mystery deepened. Under normal circumstances, NASA would issue timely updates, correct misinformation, and provide interpretive guidance. This time, they didn't. They waited, they observed, and that prolonged silence only intensified speculation, leading many to believe that the anomalies seen by amateurs were also present in NASA's own internal data. Then, without warning, NASA released a set of declassified images. There was no press briefing, no explanatory notes, no official interpretation, just the raw frames themselves. But instead of disproving the anomalies, the images reinforce them. The core remained symmetrical. The halo continued to expand. The tail showed clear curvature. The brightness profiles matched those recorded around the world. NASA did not correct the observers. It quietly validated them. Yet the release carefully avoided addressing the deeper implications. There was no discussion of rotation rates, no analysis of halo layering, no commentary on the core's symmetry and no explanation for the forward-facing glow. The silence that followed this confirmation speaks louder than any denial could have. It suggests that NASA sees exactly what the amateurs are seeing, but either does not yet understand how to explain it, or is unwilling to do so. The global picture is unmistakable. Free Eye Atlas is preserving perfect symmetry at its core while continuing to change along its outer edges, releasing material in layered halos twisting its tail through rotation, and producing intensity patterns that repeat consistently across continents. These are not the signatures of a disintegrating comet. They are the behaviors of something designed for durability, movement, and balance, something that may not simply be passing through our solar system, but deliberately revealing itself, exposing fragments of its internal design one observation at a time. And now, after assembling every image, Every frame, every brightness curve, and every subtle hint of structure captured by telescopes scattered across Spain, Thailand, Norway, Virginia, and beyond. We reach a point where the mystery surrounding 3 eye Atlas stops being a question of astronomy alone and begins to grow into something far larger. It becomes a question that presses against the boundary between what we can comfortably explain and what we are finally forced to confront. Because when you examine the stabilized core that refuses to distort, when you observe a layered halo expanding faster than sublimation physics can reasonably account for, when you follow the curling tail, rotating without triggering fragmentation, 
when you notice the forward-facing glow intensifying as if powered from within. And when you compare images from across the world only to realize they all agree, align, and reinforce the same impossible symmetry, it becomes clear that this object is not behaving like anything we have ever documented among interstellar visitors. The universe allows chaos, randomness, and irregularity. Comets embody that disorder acting like ancient debris tumbling unpredictably through space. But Atlas does not behave that way. It does not drift aimlessly. It does not deform under stress. It does not fracture. It behaves like something aware of its own structure. Then NASA finally breaks its silence, not by stepping in front of cameras, not by offering explanations, not by reframing or minimizing the strange patterns, but by quietly releasing declassified images that confirm with stark precision, the very anomalies astronomers have been debating. A release without interpretation is not just a data drop. It is a statement. A. Calculated gesture of transparency wrapped in uncertainty. NASA acknowledges the structure, the stability, and the evolving halo of Atlas without telling us what they believe those patterns represent. And that absence of narrative may be the most revealing detail of all. If these anomalies were insignificant, if these features were expected, if this behavior fit neatly within established comet physics, NASA would have said so. They would have explained the symmetry, the glow, the curling tail, and the layer gradients. They would have reassured the public that nothing unusual was happening. Instead, they unlocked the archive and stepped aside. So now we are left alone with the images themselves. Images that depict an object whose outer layers expand almost like a living system whose tail twists like a rotating signal, and whose core remains perfectly circular despite forces that should tear it apart. Perhaps it is natural, undeniably extraordinary, but if it is natural, then it represents a form of nature we have never encountered before, a type of interstellar relic carrying physical behaviors unfamiliar to our solar system. And if it is not natural, if even one of these features proves to be engineered, then Atlas becomes more than a visitor, it becomes a message, a message written not in radio signals or artificial beacons, but in structure, symmetry, stability, and silence, a message that quietly urges us to look again, because that may be the true revelation hidden within NASA's declassified frames. For the first time, humanity is observing an object that refuses to obey the rules we thought governed the universe. Atlas shows symmetry where fragmentation should exist. Coherence where chaos should dominate. Stability where decay should take hold. Whether this represents exotic chemistry, the imprint of alien engineering, or the first example of an entirely new class of interstellar travelers remains unknown. But what we can say, with certainty, is that the story of 3 Eye Atlas is not fading. It is unfolding. And as NASA prepares to release the next wave of high-resolution imagery, as amateur astronomers refine their instruments, and as attention once again turns toward the night sky, the universe may force our hand. It may reveal something we cannot dismiss, something that pushes the boundary between possibility and intention. And when it does, we will have to face the question that has lingered since the first blurred images appeared. Are we observing a comet or a construct, a remnant of ancient ice or a device built to travel alone through the dark? Until that answer emerges, one thing is already clear. The silence has been broken, and whatever comes next may permanently change how we understand interstellar objects. If this journey into the unknown sent a chill through you, if it made you reconsider what might truly be moving through our solar system right now, don't let this be where the story ends. Subscribe so you don't miss the next chapter of this unfolding mystery. Turn on notifications, because when the next declassified images arrive, you'll want to see them first. Share this with someone who believes all comets are the same. And leave a comment telling me what you see in these patterns, coincidence, or communication.